Hey you guys, so I just wanna give a big thank you to my friends at Keen for sponsoring today's video. Keen provides access to professional psychics and spiritual advisors. If you've never gotten a personal psychic reading, I think now is definitely the time to give it a try. The general readings on YouTube are awesome, but if you want something specific for you, whether you need answers on career, clarity on life's changes if you're seeking answers in your love life or relationships i definitely recommend that you get a personal psychic reading with keen you can get an instant psychic reading anytime 24 7 whenever you need answers you never have to wait there's always someone available to help you or if you develop a relationship with your advisor, you can easily schedule a call whenever it's convenient. I know you guys have heard me recommend and talk about Keen time and time again. It's because I actually use the service myself and I trust it. Keen is so confident that they actually back their readings with a satisfaction guarantee. So if you're wondering about the price of a personal psychic reading, Keen is one of the most affordable ways to get a psychic reading. And each week, Keen sends its users discounts on readings. And I have a special offer for you guys. When you use my link in the description, visit trykeen.com forward slash passionate. And as a new Keen customer, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99. So thank you again to Keen for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into your reading. Hi Aquarius, I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you much love and light. Welcome to your love reading for November. Um, if you're new here, my name is Lynn. I'm a psychic medium. This is Passion Heart Tarot. Thanks for clicking on the video. For everyone returning, thank you so much. I send you all much love and light. Let's see what's coming in for your love life, Aquarius. Okay, what kind of energy is coming your way in love? It's a spirit to show us before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the Holy Spirit. All right. Are any of you dealing with um, a Pisces? If you, well, you could be. It could be your moon or rising signs. It could be cross watchers. But I feel like there's a special message coming through for some of you about reconciliation. That's what I can see. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's coming in in November. Well, there's definitely communication that I see here. There's definitely communication. Um, for some of you, that could have that, it, that message from Spirit with the cards flipping over like that, it could have been even um like a confirmation to you somehow. Like, well, will me and my person get back together? Yes, that's what I can see. And maybe some of you, you may choose to make that move towards them. Okay, that's that's what I can see going on. It's just very interesting energies because there's so many different like it's like goes up down up down. But this being the overall energy for others of you. See, I feel like the message that came, I want to clarify, because I feel like the message that came through in the beginning was maybe for someone, like a quick message, something personal for them that they needed to know, and like, just take, just take that. Now I'm, I'm cutting that off, because this is, this is something different. Seeing the nine of cups with the empress in reverse, this is others of you in this vibe, like, I don't want to be tied down. I don't want to be anybody's wifey. I don't want to be... I don't know. I just see where there's a lot of independence around others of you. Others of you could even be kind of um, enjoying the attention that comes to you. And for even others of you, this could be the attention from that person, whoever that is, that maybe you're thinking of, that, you know, with that message in the beginning. Um, maybe you might even play hard to get with them, just not give in to them so easily. Do you know what I mean? Make them kind of win you. 
I think that you have a lot of self-confidence that's coming in, Aquarius. A lot of it. Like, I see where there's a lot of attention coming your way. Romantic attention. But definitely, even um, from family, friends, I just see where people love you. And they want to do nice things for you this month. They do. And I see the way that it makes you feel. It makes you feel very special. I see where you feel like you have everything that you need and more. So there's a lot of confidence and satisfaction around you. And it's so interesting that there's also this streak of independence that I see. Some of you are just loving that and you choose to remain in that energy. There's no lack of communication I just see where, um, especially if you guys are single, you know, because um, I never know who's here watching this. If you are single, I actually see you really enjoying your single life because of the way that you're just meeting people, socializing. You know, it could even be like via social media because it just looks like there's so much communication that's coming in and people uh, could even be very uh, frank with you like unfiltered with you at times like very straightforward is what i should say very straightforward i'm um, not holding back telling you what it is that they like about you telling you what it is that makes them interested in you and i just see where it's funny because i see where some of you are open to that but when it comes to getting into something serious it just looks like you're closing that door. That's what the Four of Wands shows me. It's not like the path is not there. It is there. But I just don't see you guys choosing to embrace that path right now. And maybe for others of you, like if you are getting to know different people, dating around, that you know, trying to ultimately maybe meet someone that you can start a relationship with, I just see you more in this mode right now of feeling things out, feeling good about yourself, taking all of the attention that comes to you. I just feel like there's just so much communication here. So that makes me feel like some of you are dating around and maybe even talking to more than one person, getting to know more than one person. That's what I feel. And for those of you that are in... I just feel like this is this is really for those of you that are single but you know I won't exclude any, anyone here but the the vibe is like someone is single and the vibe is like they don't want to be tied down so what if you know I wonder if any of you guys are cross watchers here maybe dealing with an, an Aquarius that's that's what the vibe is that I see. And now to be fair, it could be how you feel someone is being with you, Aquarius. Maybe you are the one that is doing the pursuing, the, the communicating. I just feel like someone this month is not choosing to embrace the relationship path. They're just not choosing to right now. Doesn't mean that they won't. But see, the thing about this energy is that it just feels, it feels really good to this person. It feels, uh, they're super flattered. They have so much attention and then it's like feeling so full off of it, feeling so complete from it. And them just sitting in that position and not wanting to get out of that position. For those of you that are in a relationship, I think it's very important that you make sure that what you're giving to your person, they're actually giving it back to you, whether it's some um, like attention, affection, whatever, whatever it is. Because I feel like the way that this person is being shown so much of that attention and feels so loved, they can easily get lost in it and they can easily kind of take it all in and become very self-centered. I don't feel like it, it's intentional. It just, it, it feels so good. And maybe this is the energy of others of you who feel like, you know what, what about me? What about me? That's what I can see. So I would just say like, if, if 
you are in a relationship, I see you doting on your person. Or it could even be you, Aquarius. You know what I mean? It goes both ways. Doting on this person, putting them on a pedestal, doing every little thing for them, to just doing everything for them, making them feel super special, wanted, uh, attractive. I just feel like this person slips into being self-centered very easily because it just feels so good in the moment and they, they forget like, oh yeah, let me give this back to my person. That's the kind of dynamic that I can see. So then it makes me wonder, what are you guys here? Like, are you single? Are you, are you playing the field? Are you in a relationship? It does make me wonder that. So it's like a, a little tip to you. If you are the one that's like just taking all the attention and like eating it up with a spoon, because that's what the energy is, don't forget to give back to your person and vice versa. I just see where it, it almost feels like a lot of you here could be single. You could even unblock someone. You might, you might even be surprised how you could, like, because, you know, we saw that rec reconciliation at the beginning of the reading. You could even end up unblocking someone and communication comes in. But then maybe you're just, like, liking the attention this person gives you. And maybe that's why you're not choosing to enter into a full-blown relationship. That could be the case. Because, you know, the seven of wands is like letting, it's like letting your guard down, being open. And where it's like messages, it's like unblocking. So someone might even get unblocked um, or you choose to unblock them. I want to look at that. Look at the four of wands. See, that's the thing about it. Like I said, there's no shortage of romance. Like there's no shortage of romance. There's no shortage of communication. Like it's there if you want it. I definitely see a pursuit. For those of you that are single, I just see where someone is coming your way or, you know, it could be for anyone here, honestly. Like I don't, I'm not here to judge what you guys do. But it's just this energy of someone who's very, very romantic, coming your way, who really is looking, this person's looking for love. They're looking to find someone that they can get into a relationship with. That's what they want. And um, once they feel like it's mutual, this person is absolutely going to want to settle into something, settle down into something. See, it's like being in two different mindsets because I, it's some of you do not want to be in something so serious. That that's what the vibe is like. So, don't take offense to that because I don't say any of that to offend. You know, I'll give you the scoop and then you can do what you want with it. But that's what I can see going on. The way that someone is enjoying affection, enjoying attention. They, they just love it. And because they love all the attention that they get, they're not open to limiting it to limiting it. Because it's almost like they look at maybe getting into a relationship as like being tied down. So if any of you Aquarius are here and, and you feel like you're chasing after someone, just be very careful with your heart because of the way that um, I, your heart is on your sleeve, at least someone's heart is on their sleeve and they're so vulnerable, they're so open, they're so romantic and even a bit innocent. It's like you might be barking up the wrong tree though, to, to put it frankly. Cause it's like trying to make an offer to someone who is like close to offers. They're not open to it. So that could be, um, it's just like a, a little tip maybe for someone to really read the signs and be honest with themselves about what they're actually getting from this person. Like if you have to chase, 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 this person likes being chased. So they're not gonna want you to stop. And they're not they're not gonna want you to stop, okay? That's important. 
and that could be your energy Aquarius you know you may be the one that likes um being spoiled like this because this person looks very spoiled to me very very spoiled not in a bad not I'm not saying anything bad but they they look very spoiled to me they have more than enough they have more than enough so I wonder what's going on with you guys. I do wonder, like, are you single? What's happening? Okay, I wanna, I wanna look at this Ace of Swords. And then it makes me wonder, cause I can see this energy of communication unblocking. Do you like when this person chases after you? Do you want them to like show you that? Because it's a flirtatious kind of energy at the same time. It's a romantic kind of energy. There's definite strong communication. But I, I just keep backpedaling because that's what the energy is like. It's not allowing things to fully progress the way that it could. The way that it could. So I feel like someone needs to know that they really do have a love opportunity with someone that really is looking for a, re a relationship, a solid relationship. This is a very sincere person. It's someone who is super romantic, very uh, considerate, and, and will provide stability because they're looking for stability. So maybe it's just important. I wonder if any of you are wondering someone's intentions towards you and maybe that's why you're kind of like not settling playing the field, perhaps. I see a good person that's coming in if you would let yourself be open to it. There's a lot of potential with that person. If someone would let themselves be open to it, it could really lead to a long-term relationship. It, it could even make someone feel ultimately like, you know what, I'm glad I made that choice. I made the right choice. I feel like things like really lined up when I got together with this person. I feel like um, I'm on the right path. So it's like, what will they choose? Will they choose short-term satisfaction or will they choose something that could be more long-term? Just something to think about. But I do see where many of you guys here uh, love the short-term. All right, Aquarius, I wanna look at this seven. See the five coming through like that? That's like romantic competition. That's like, I wanna see, uh, um, it's someone who's really making me, enjoying the chase and making the other one chase them. And I just feel like they're not intending to move things forward right now. Not that I condone that, cause I know where someone, if you're on the receiving end of that, how that can be, that can hurt. But, you know, I'll be honest with you guys about the energy that comes through. And especially if you feel like you've already, if you feel like you're chasing someone and you've seen this with someone, um, it's important that you kind of protect your heart and be more honest with yourself about what this person could be taking and not giving back. I just feel like there's a, a hint of game playing. I don't think it's malicious game playing. I think it just comes from a place of like wanting the attention, feeling good by the attention. Because this is like, okay, I'll let you back in, but I'm gonna also kind of keep you dangling. That's what this energy is like. Like, yeah, I'll talk to you, I'll unblock you, but I'm not necessarily gonna say that we're together or we're on a path together that's it that's what the energy is like and then when you see the five of wands come through there's definitely romantic competition here so if whoever is in this energy of the knight of cups you know that's just important for you to know because you can re-examine the situation you know, knowing your own worth, knowing what you want to deal with, what you don't want to deal with. So if there's a lot of mystery around someone, you guys, this month, and you feel like you can't really figure them out, you feel like, um, 
you feel like there's just maybe even something off or you're one there's a, there's more people in the picture there at least at least one other person in the picture that's what i have to tell you and i don't mean to blow up your spot aquarius if that is your energy but if you want a serious connection it is there it is there it's just a matter of someone deciding what what's the best thing for them right now because for everyone here it's different so definitely a very active love life there's a lot of um, communication confidence that i see It's almost like some of you are looking for that unicorn, like looking for something that you feel is absolutely 100% perfect. And someone is like, well, I, I, when I feel like it checks off all these boxes, then I feel, then I feel like maybe I'll, I'll get into a relationship or I don't know. That's what, that's what it's like, you know, and I know that can be a bummer for someone to hear that. Um, you know, I'm not saying that to judge, but you know, I'll always be honest with you guys about the messages because this is like really a perfectionist kind of, that's what it looks like to me, a perfectionist. So for those of you that are the pursuer and you do feel like you can't catch this person the way that you want to, don't start um, looking at yourself and feeling bad about anything. Don't start looking at yourself and, and feeling like, oh, if I'm... If I did this better or that better, um, you know, just, just don't do that. You can't control what people do. You can't control what choices they make. And it's just important that someone is honest with themselves about what they're being shown. Honest with themselves about the effort that they put towards someone and what they receive back. And then on, on the you know flip side, I, I, I just see all of the energy. So this is general. Some of you could be on one side. Some of you could be on another side. But that's what I can see. Someone who um, is really enjoying the more attention they're shown, the more that they want. And they're not going to give that up. They're not going to get that up. And then I feel like it, it makes someone chase the other one makes them try even harder do any do more but the messed up thing ab about that is what spirit is showing me this month is someone who just remains in this energy of not wanting to be tied down being very like single being very independent so i just think it's important for this person to be really honest with themselves like are you barking up the wrong tree so to speak Because if, if any of you feel like you're going through this now, you could be the chaser and you're wondering why this person is like so weird with you, hot and cold with you. Like, And when I say hot and cold, they'll receive attention from you, but they may not always like give it back. Or, you know what I mean? It's like a funny dynamic. It is really because I feel like they're not in the mindset to be in a relationship. That, that's just what it is that's just what it is so that could be how you feel this month Aquarius or it could be what you deal with with someone okay I'm gonna look at the six um, pentacles there's I just feel like it all goes back to the way that this person really enjoys the attention that they get because you know I, I see all these different things and um it's like it can be see the thing that i'm trying to understand is uh, explain rather is how it can be confusing to someone and they're trying to understand it well they on un, they unblocked me or um they take they they receive my calls like i get through to them you know it's confusing so some some of you might feel confused um is what i should say aquarius in your love life in november you could be the one that's confusing someone with your behavior or that's how they feel when it comes to you, like trying to understand things. Be careful for breadcrumbing. All right, I'm gonna look at the six of uh, pentacles. I 
I just can see um, this energy of if that's not enough, I'm going to do more. If that's not enough, I'm going to try harder. Some of you are on the receiving end of that and you and you love it. Others of you who are the person that is, you know, if, um, if that's not enough, I'm going to do more because that's what I can see. I'm just going to like really go all in, put myself out there put it all on the line. Someone's making themselves very vulnerable. And I feel like, well, you'll do what you want to do, but just be careful with your heart and pay attention to the patterns that this person shows you. And if they're like not ready to get into a relationship, don't go blaming yourself for that. Okay, that's because I just feel like I can read the energy from both ends and I see, you know, I'm not taking sides because some of you could be going through it. You know, you know how, you know what I mean, Aquarius. Some of it flip flops depending on like which side you're on. So I will just say to someone to um, like know their worth, know like how far they're willing to go without the results that they actually want. And just for someone to be really, really honest with themselves about what they deserve and how they're being treated by this person what this person takes and doesn't give back. All right, wow, that's very interesting energy. So it just, wow, your love life, I feel, is going to be very active, especially for those of you that are this person here. Very active love life where there's just a lot of attention that's coming, that's coming in. And if you are in a relationship with someone, Aquarius, I would just say to you know if you love them you care for them you'll definitely want to think about like giving back because i see where some of you are just like taking 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 and not not giving back and i know how that can make your person feel hurt it can make them feel hurt by that for those of you that are single i mean you, you of course if you have every right to kind of play the field and do what you want to do I mean, you have every right to, but I just feel like honesty is always the best thing because I, I feel for the person that's pursuing you and it's, and you already have it in your mind that it's not going to really go where they might want it to go. Because I just see where this person tries over and over and over. Wow. So there's a lot to think about the, there's a there's a lot of messages coming through for you guys let me know Aquarius like which side of this are you on are you experiencing this now are you the one that's like getting a lot has a lot of attention already started to come in for you you know people like uh, maybe liking your pictures people approaching you because you definitely have a lot of attractive energy around you this month so i do wonder if you guys are starting to see that already with people trying to communicate maybe even someone trying to reconcile with you i wonder if you've unblocked anyone recently or if you're thinking of doing it so there's a lot of pursuing that's coming your way and if if there's other aquarius here Just know your worth, honestly. Just know your worth and know how much you want to keep trying at something that's not really going anywhere. Don't feel like foolish. Don't feel like you've done anything wrong. Because I see where some of you are just honestly looking for love, looking for a relationship. But I would just be really honest with myself about what that person I'm interested in is showing me back. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you guys. Let me know what's going on in the comments because I'm nosy. I send you all much love and light. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around and watching the whole reading. I really appreciate it. And I just want to give a big thank you again to Keen for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next reading.